Hey guys, Catcom here with Studio Sweat On Man. Super excited to bring you this workout. It is called Weightlifting for Women, but men don't shy away from it. It's an amazing workout that I think you'll appreciate too. It's all about the reps. We're actually gonna be doing each exercise, and there's 10 of them, for 50 seconds, five zero, and then you'll have 10 seconds to transition to the next exercise. 50 seconds to do one exercise is actually quite a long time, but it's in the spirit of repetition equals definition. So you're gonna to wanna to grab a little bit of a lighter weight for this. Um, I personally will have two to diff three different sets of weights available, ranging from five pounds to 12 pounds. So those are the dumbbells that I'm going to grab. You'll be able to figure that out for yourself. Um, another thing that I suggest that you have is a mat available. If you do have a mat, if not, just grab the floor, you're gonna be fine. And then um, if you do have an incline bench, grab it. We're gonna be doing a little press, but if not, don't worry about it. You can just do that on the floor. Um, when you're done, my suggestion is that you grab this little tracker that's available in the uh, class description and you write down how many reps you got in. Um, and you can do that on your little 10 second transition and what weight you use to do the exercise. So that's it. Keep in mind, repetition again equals definition. Let's go get our reps on. If you're looking for a convenient, motivating way to get or stay fit, Studio Sweat On Demand has a huge library of ad-free on-demand workouts with non-stop hot new releases, all featuring real people just like you. Start your seven-day free trial by downloading our app. It's risk-free with no credit card required. So get started today. All right, you guys, here we go. We're gonna do a short warm up, only about three minutes. If you have time to do a longer warm up, pause right now and get your warm up on, maybe go for a jog or something like that. Let's go ahead and punch it out. So we're just warming up the legs and the shoulders and the torso a little bit here. Perfect, let's give me four more. Four. Three, two, and one per side. Okay, just nice, gentle squats. Don't worry about the tempo. You're gonna tap your toes, drop your hips back. So see how I'm coming up on my toes here? That's actually called a triple extension. Good, three, two, and one, perfect. Hands on your hips, just give me a nice gentle forward lunge. Go ahead and go at your own pace. Perfect. You're syncing up with me, I like it. It's not a requirement at Studio Sweat, so. Perfect, now you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put them behind your ears. Take opposite elbow to opposite knee as you come into that lunge, so you drop. Good, one more per side. Excellent, okay. Shake it out, we're gonna go into little tiny toy soldier kick where you kick opposite arm, opposite leg. Take a double step. See, I didn't tell Kat what we were doing. <laughs> so she's learning it right along with you. <laughs> there you go. Perfect, one more per side. We'll do some butt kickers. We'll grab our weights, we'll get going. Perfect, one more cat. Good, kick it out. Make sure you bring your heel all the way up to that tushy. Perfect, you got it, good, good cat. Yeah, go in a circle, do it. I like it. <laughs> Poop it. I get sick. All right, everybody should be nice and warmed up. Ready for those circuits. You're gonna start with something called the goblet squat. So you're gonna select one of your weights and you're gonna hold it straight up and down. Toes slightly wider than the shoulders. Keep your body up and down and do a little squat, getting as low as you can with good form. Keep in mind, every exercise that you do, ladies, is gonna be for 55 zero seconds. That's no joke. Right, Kat? Let me get back with you. <laughs> Everybody, this is Kat. And I'm Kat. <laughs> this is Kat with a K, I'm Kat with a C. And you're here taking a workout that's specifically designed for the ladies that the men will love too. Good, okay. Now, 
You're gonna switch out your weight if you need to. And we're gonna be doing a back fly. I would grab your eights, Kat. Okay, for the back fly, hinge forward in the hips and you're gonna drive those weights up. If the weights are too heavy, all you gotta do is bend your arms a little bit, but you're still kissing those shoulder blades together. Now, what Kat, Kat is demonstrating here is called an offset stance. When you do the offset stance, one foot in front of the other, you're gonna protect your back a little bit. One of the things I'm gonna ask Kat to do is hinge her body a little bit further forward at the hips so that she's working the back a little bit more than the shoulders. There you go. You get the back and the back of the shoulders this way. That's good. Keep going, repetition equals definition. You know that. Good, all right. Let's move to some legs, okay? You can probably hold onto the same weight, but you can also grab heavier weights or you can um, drop the weights all together. You're gonna step into a curtsy lunge, step together, and then step to the other side. Once you feel like your form's good, you can increase your pace. You might even go tempo, which is step. 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 Now, you can see that Kat, with a K, has a little bit of a slower pace than Kat with a C. And I mad respect that. Because it's always quality over quantity, you guys. Here we go. Keep going, you got it, you got it. One more, even it out. Okay, now Kat, you haven't seen this one, so I want you to watch first, okay? And those of you at home, just watch this one first. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is as I extend my legs, I'm gonna do a chest press, okay? Now, if you wanna pick to just do one of the movements, you're welcome to do that. So if you just wanted to do the leg extension here, you could do that. If you wanted to just do the press here, you could do that. But if you really wanna get a combo move and get a lot going on, do both. But if you're gonna do this, you gotta keep your neck relaxed. So I do have my head lifted, but my chin is also lifted, keeping the neck relaxed. Good cat. Now, she is doing it a little differently than I did because my arms and legs were straight at the same time. What she's doing is actually a little bit harder than what I was doing. Props. Rips. Both are good. Okay, now, I'm gonna demonstrate a burpee. Kat's gonna demonstrate a squat press. The only difference is one has a jump and one doesn't. So we start in plank position. So go ahead and bring it down here, Kat. Bring it down here, yeah. No weights. Jump your feet just outside your hands and then come to standing. So that's a squat thrust. The only difference, so go ahead and start. Okay, the only difference between what she's doing and what I'm doing is I'm adding a little jump. So you got your choice. And um, another thing that you can see she's doing, another modification, and she's doing this for good reason, trust me, is instead of jumping her legs back, she's stepping them one at a time. So that's a great option too. Here we go. Good. That's one of the harder ones. So what we're gonna do next, grab a set of medium to heavies. We're gonna do a hammer curl. Here we go. Great opportunity to catch your breath here. Good modification, if your weights are too heavy, sing alarm. You can start with the double arm, and if you start to experience fatigue a little early, switch to the single arm. Is that fair? Okay. Come on, almost there. Come on, we got it, we got it. Biceps, biceps. Good. 
Now we're going to give the arms a little bit of a break. Rinse. We're going to go into something called a split squat. I have a block. You can use a stair, a bench, anything. But you can also do this on the ground. So I want everyone to take their right foot forward, their left foot back. I've got a little incline, and you're just going to take it into this little split squat, also known as a lunge. Good, do two more. And then I want you to switch legs. Good. Switch out to the other side. This is why a nice stationary stair is a little better than a moving yoga block. <laughs> you got it, you got it. So if you take a look at my heart rate, I'm in my fat burning zone, ladies. <laughs> and John. Okay, good. Now, if I were only doing about 8 to 12 reps, I would keep these weights. But because I'm going to be going for 50 seconds, I'm going to switch out to a little bit of a lighter set. Hinge forward, tricep kickback. Here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Guess what? These weights are too light for me. I need to be challenged. I hope you want the same for yourself. Okay. Tens are about what I should be using here. How's it feeling, Kat? There you go. Squeeze it. Show them your tricep pop. Perfect. Squeeze. Squeeze. So this is what not to do. See how I move at the shoulder joint? That's what not to do. You keep the shoulder stationary and squeeze. Good. Okay. Now. I call this one Get Outdoors. <laughs> We're gonna take it into a mountain climber. I'm gonna use my weights just because my hand issue. We're gonna do 10 per side, okay, Kat? Straight up mountain climber, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. From the side, looks like this. Seven, eight, nine, 10, good. Now I want you to drop onto your belly. Hands out in front of you. And slow swimmer. One. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Two. Three. Four. Five. Squeeze the glute to lift the leg. Six. Good, Ted. Try to point that toe. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Now, because we have a little bit more time, we're going to go back to the mountain climber. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. One. Two, let's finish it. Three, four, five. Keep going, guys. Six, seven, eight, nine. Good cat. Nine, ten. Did I say nine twice? <laughs> Bonus! <laughs> Good. Okay. Grab one of your lighter sets of weights. We're going to finish with the shoulders. Yay! <laughs> okay. Weights together. You're going to lift out to the side and then to the front. So it palms down. Palms up. The key to this one, believe it or not, is your core engagement. So you can feel your core has to be so tight for this, right? So if you look at the weights that she has, five pounds, okay? The number of reps she's doing with those is where the repetition turns into definition. Agreed, Kat? Good. Good, 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 good. Good. And she did have her palms forward at the front, or down at the front, that's totally fine too. Cat, from the top, yes mama? Okay, all right ladies, this is time for round two. You know the exercises, you're 10 minutes in, and we're gonna go through this again. If you needed to take a minute break there, I totally get it. Hips back. Notice I'm going a little slower than the tempo. But Kat's doing really well. I can see it even in my peripheral. Is she's keeping that torso upright. Bending at the hips, nice arch. Good, turn even a little bit more to the side so they can see how beautiful you are. Yeah, see that? That's good stuff. Charlie, good stuff, right? Yeah, here we go. Thank you for the break. <laughs> 
Excellent, okay. You're gonna wanna swap out to a little bit of a lighter weight. We're gonna go to that back fly next. Cat with a K, demonstrating the offset stamp position to protect that back. Here we go. Cat, do you remember what I asked you to do last time? What was it? Pinch forward at the hip a little bit more, yeah. So, by having her do that, I'm having her work the back muscles a little bit more than the shoulder muscles. You feel it too? She said, I feel it too. Come on. Yeah. She's feeling it in her core too. Good, come on, we're almost there, Kat. So Kat and I are gonna demonstrate two rounds today. You could do one, two, or three rounds, depending on if you had the time. Okay, Kat, the curtsy lunge. I'm gonna swap out my weights. It's a weight graveyard here. Here we go, and you're going to weight. I love it. You can see I'm going tempo. Cat with a K is finding her pace. You got it. Now if you have bad knees, a good idea is you can take that step a little further back. Then you don't have to bend the knee as much. You might protect them a little. If you got good knees, keep it tight though. How you doing, ladies? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Come on. Looking good, almost there. Good, okay. Taking it down to that chest fly with the option to do the leg extension. Pick one, two, or both of these moves to do together. Remember, if you have any neck issues, I want that head on the ground. You want to engage the core a little bit more? Lift those shoulder blades. Cat looking good. This is exercise four of ten. We're doing great, ladies and gents. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I love it. You love it. You love it. Doesn't this one seem extra long? <laughs> Three, two, one. I think that was 100 seconds. <laughs> Kat, it's time for the squat thrust for burpee. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, here we go. Kat will show you option A, option B right here. Sylvia, you better be getting it. Come on. Come on, Jen. Let's go, Angela. Michelle, bigger jump. Come on. Good news, hammer curls are next. You got it, Cat. You're doing amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today. She said, this is awesome. Almost there. Did you know I did a mile of rupees lunch? with two other people. We took turns. Thank you. It was crazy hard. Hammer curls. While I catch my breath, I'll do single arm. You can see red zone, by the way. Those burpees bring you up every time to the highest stop burning zone right there. Okay. I'm gonna move to the double arm because I can. Exercise number six. Good. Come on. Come on. Just warm up. Just imagine the best version of you right here. Beautiful. Okay. 
Split squat is next. Remember, you can do this with or without weight. With or without that back, leg elevated. First thing I do is get nice and stable, and then I begin. Good cut. Three more, then we'll switch sides. She's so good. For those of you that know me, you'll know this is my favorite exercise. It's also my least favorite exercise. <laughs> Your room looks great, Hannah. You're so welcome. She said, I'm so glad because before she came to Studio Sweat, she couldn't do these before. That makes me happy. Okay. Rest. Did the biceps, work to lower body. Now we're going to go to the kickback, working the triceps. Offset stance or narrow stance. Here we go. Triceps. Squeeze. When you get to the back, arms are extended. I want you to really squeeze. What happens there is the blood pools in the tricep and it turns more of it into muscle than fat. <laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> Come on, ladies. Just over three minutes left, then we'll be done with two complete circuits. Come on. All right. You got it, you got it. Perfect. Could bring it down. We're gonna go to those mountain climbers. All right, guys, here we go. 10 mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and slow swimmer, bring it down. Nice and slowly, good focus. One, two, three, four, good. Point the toe for me, Pat. Three, two, one per side. Mountain climbers. Come on, we got time for one more set of these guys. Three, two, one, go, one. Two, three, five. Come on, you got it, you got it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, last exercise. This is it, ladies. We have one minute left. Come on. Okay, here we go. Palms down, palms in. You can see Kat's taking a little bit of a different option over to my right here. She's doing palms down. Honestly, guys, whatever feels good on your shoulder. This is another option. Palms forward, palms down. Just do what feels good, but that challenges your shoulders. What, are they fried? I love it. This is reality, people. This is not a fitness model. It's just the cats. Here we go. But we're kind of badass, yeah? Come on. Got it, ladies. Come on. Feel the carb. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to do another round, give me some knuckles again, sister. Nice job. Listen, if you have time, I want you to do another round. Okay? That would only be 30 minutes. We got to get out of here because there's another class. So we did two circuits. If you only have 15 minutes, do one circuit. You got 25, do two. You got 35. Do three. Why the extra five minutes? You gotta warm up first, like we did. Take the time now to cool down and stretch that body. This is exactly when you should be stretching out those muscles you just toned up. For now, check it off. Sink cap.